You look you good people. We're gonna open this up together. There's the trans 4L80 shift kit installed that we got done at Sanders Transmission and Performance. The ADE single disc. ADE single disc. 3500 stall converter from Florida torque converter. Uh, 3400 stall, I'm sorry. 3400 stall. Look, we got new Torrington bearings, new impeller hub, new pilot bearing, new turbine hub, computer balanced, high pressure leak tested, built to your specific 3400 stall, maximum torque multiplication with our furnace brazing and tighter clearance. <clears throat> so, we're gonna take a look at this dude, baby. We've been, we've been going lost in the mail. We look at this bad boy. <laughs> Do you see it? We got new bolts because we have the, of course we have the 5.3 flex plate. So we have three bolts and um, this is for the ADE on Blanco Blanco. I will be going with the same uh, company and same setup for my blue car whenever I go any bigger or anything like that, man. Y'all need to get a hold of this guy. Uh, this, originally I was going with the budget converter, with the way that things happen with, um, with the, uh, quarantine, uh, quarantine, and then with people think business is shutting down, uh, my budget, the parts for the budget converter were no longer provided because of, you know, the, the virus. So, we had to go with this converter, which is an upgrade, which is, I think, good for 1,200 horse, 1,100 horse, 1,000 horse. And don't quote me on that, but I believe that we're good for well above what we're trying to make. Well above. So, if he wanted to step this up, bigger turbo, bigger injectors, um, bigger uh, fuel pump and fuel feed lines we he'd have a monster sitting here man he'd have a monster sitting in the money you know what i mean you know our our goal is not a four digit thing our goal is a very streetable healthy horsepower so what i'm going to go do now i'm going to go get some fluid put this i'm gonna put this dude in Bolt the cross member in, cross over in, and uh, get with it. Finally coming together. This was the main thing I've been waiting on. And it's not as heavy as a stock converter, which is good. Which is good. And and I like the fact that we have three different sets of holes here. For different lining lining it up on different flywheels I, i'm not sure if i'm gonna need the pilot or not looks like i may being that i have a being that i have a dist flex plate or do i have a flat flex plate i have a dist flex plate five three dish six oh flat so i'm gonna have to have the pilot which i do have an extra and then a lot of people want to know, you know, can I bolt my TH350, my 400, my 700R, my two-speed power glide to my 5.3-6048? Yes. In some applications on those, this is a must. You have to have this. See? 
Look at that. Have that a set on, and that will take up the spacing on a dished setup on some. You know, and all it does is doesn't allow you to pull when you tighten in your converter. You're not pulling your converter out of your pump. And then this will sit inside. This will go inside the crank. Here's your crank. Pull the hole. And that goes inside there like so. Of course, but you can see that this is a flat flex plate. <clears throat> and then if you look down this one, it's got a dish. It's not a flat. And with that one over there, with it being a 5.3, <clears throat> it's got a dish flex plate. So like I said, I'm going to go get some fluid. Uh, and some, remove these fittings. I need to go down and then out, down and then out. I had to cut this ear and this ear off the uh, transmission before for the uh, clearance of the crossover because of the turbo crossover. So, but that's what I'm doing. All right, let's check it. We're trying to see what kind of oil pressure we're gonna have here. Looks like 35, 36. Tuck some wires, hook up some vacuum lines, uh, tape off a few things, put on a belt, hook up my water pump and my electric fan, like I said, and hide some wires. And We're going to be ready to drive Blanco Blanco, baby. I'm still be ready to drive. Yeah, man. Um... We got oil pressure, we got oil, we got, you know, I'm going to have to do something different over here as far as my feed to my battery. I think I'm going to run it up to that block for stereo system and then off the block back to the battery. That's what I think I'm going to do there because the line's so, you know, it's a little short. Uh, and, if, and if that don't work, I... Yeah, it'll work there. It'll go up to that block and then back to the battery for sure. Um, and then I'm going to hook up a couple more grounds. Wastegate. I'm gonna, I got a, I got a pipe for it. It's going to dump right down and away from everything. Uh, yeah, man. We getting there, man. It is running. Uh, the tune's off, way off. And I gotta hook up a, uh, my my boot for my brakes. And then we, and my uh, heater core lines, because this here we had to, I had to replace the, uh, I had to repair the heater core box, AC slash heater core box, put in a new heater core. 
Um, and that was a task, you know, with the motor already still in here. With the motor, pull the motor out to fix it. I'm sorry, I did. I pulled the motor out to fix it. Um, the ADE is in, the 3500 stall converter is in with it. Uh, drive shaft, hook up the yoke and fluid, 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 fluid. I think I'm gonna have to get a different uh, feel, transmission feel, because it's it's I don't believe it's gonna work where it needs to go. You, you know the aftermarket stuff works pretty good. It's just the way to feed them, man, it just don't give you much option. You know what I mean? The the feed's so freaking small, and it takes forever. But I like them because they sleep. You know they sit back there pretty good. Crossover pipe. Everything's good, man. I got the uh, got the electric dump cut out, so you know it's gonna be full exhaust while you're cruising. You know what I mean? And then uh, you can get jiggy. You hit the button, and it's wide freaking open, baby. Just sounds just like well, it's be open header basically, basically open header. You know, because yeah, what everybody say, you know, full exhaust on a turbo hurts you. So this here, you know, and the down pipe's pretty long because we want to get everything away from the inside of the engine bay. So it's pretty long. As long as we moving, we moving. All right.